Are Madison and Wong together? And I'm curious, please comment on this video super quick to see whether you ship both them and a show about them because I'm declaring this video's comment section to be a petition to the MCU for all of this. So make sure you share this video around because I'm telling you whether this couple getting together is a good idea or a bad one, no matter what, it's just such a fun idea we have to have more of these two. And guess what? A certain scene between these two wasn't even planned for She-Hulk episode four, but it was so cute, it had to be added. Did you know that? Plus, will this couple, if they are one now, have a tragic end as we move forward in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? We're gonna talk about all of this right now. Welcome or welcome back to the Mama Saga, where this Marvel-loving mama is a mother and lawyer by day, but breaks down comic book sagas, movies, and shows like She-Hulk by night. Subscribe to this channel so you can join me for the after-party live streams following each episode of She-Hulk Attorney at Law on the days that they drop. So, spoiler alert, of course, if you haven't seen the first few episodes of She-Hulk Attorney at Law yet, okay? I just want to cover that base just in case. All right, so first, you have to admit, this couple is worth shipping. Wong, the current MCU Sorcerer Supreme, and Madison King, and every woman that stole the hearts and minds of the MCU recently, first met in She-Hulk Attorney at Law Episode 4. And as a result of that episode, they absolutely broke the internet as a couple. I mean, the storyline was funny enough as it was. Wong, played by actor Benedict Wong, who was suing ex commentage student Donnie Blaze for the unauthorized and reckless use of magic, which he discovered was going on only once Madison, played by Patty Guggenheim, was unceremoniously dumped into his living room after having been pushed into a portal, which brought her, well, in Madison's words, into a fireland, and that fireland might very well have led her to an encounter with none other than Mephisto. I've got a separate video coming out on my channel, deep diving into Mephisto's entrance into the MCU, so if you haven't subscribed yet, please do before you leave today. I really appreciate that. Anyway, of course Wong is super miffed about the whole thing, especially when Madison is stumbling about wielding a bloody animal heart and is otherwise totally confused about where she's at and whether Wong himself is, in her words, the Goblin King. So Wong retains Jennifer Walters, aka She-Hulk, to be his lawyer so that he can protect the universe from any more unsanctioned portal creations that could lead to all sorts of chaos for Earth-616 and everyone living there. Meanwhile, Madison testifies for Wong, and it's an absolute slur-ridden, hilarious delight when she does. She gives Wong legal advice on the way to the witness stand, of course it's wrong, and then she hands the court officer her drink, telling him that he can drink it if he wants, she's not sick, and then proceeds to describe Jake the demon and her pact with him that she's not allowed to share with anyone lest he reap her soul and the souls of everyone she loves. But you know what? She's not afraid of what happened at the end of the day. Hearing all of this, Wong is completely horrified and humiliated, but that doesn't stop Madison from dubbing him Wongers and then asking him to take her out for frozen yogurt, which he does. <laughs> Finally, at the stinger or the post credit scene, they're hanging out watching a new series together since apparently they've finished watching The Sopranos all the way through. They're talking about different drinks that they've tried, and then Wong agrees to get her yak milk, quote unquote, from the wedding. Did they go together to this wedding, I wonder? And then he's going to pour alcohol in it for her so she can see if she likes it. She's totally asking him for it. <laughs> this is totally madcap and adorable, all of it, so no wonder the internet is like, more please, 
Unlike what Jennifer Walters assures the audience during her first fourth wall break for ep- for the episode, Wong's appearance itself didn't give She-Hulk Twitter armor for the next week. It's Wong and Madison as a couple that's done it. And everyone is in love with these two. They're begging Kevin Feige and crew to create a show for them. And you know what? I'm joining the list. How about you? Again, please consider this a petition to the powers that be, and let's get this done. Now, this couple is worth shipping because there's chemistry for days. Chemistry between the characters themselves, sure, given all the merry mayhem of the episode, but there was chemistry between the actors themselves, too. True story. For example, the stinger scene that made it into episode four of She-Hulk was not the original stinger scene that was planned. According to director Kat Coiro, when the camera was on the two actors at one point, they were riffing off one another, and she just decided to let the camera roll as they did their thing. The two ended up sharing popcorn and discussing their favorite drinks. All the two actors were doing was improvisation, meaning none of those lines were written or expected, but it all was so magical, they kept the footage, and that became the post credit scene. Like, this is exactly what Kat Koiro said. Quote, when Wong and Madison are riffing with one another, that didn't exist in the script. That came purely from the actor's comedic chemistry and us going, we've got to throw some cameras on these two because they're so funny, unquote. Guggenheim herself was actually so funny during her audition that Marvel exec and head writer Jessica Gao was actually, quote, crying with laughter, unquote. Now, when it came to Madison's first appearance in a She-Hulk trailer that released before the season actually got into full swing, I did a video entitled Madison, Marvel Studios She-Hulk Attorney at Law trailer, where Sure, I got some things right and other things wrong, as theorists likely are to do, but I never ever could have predicted what a big hit these two are now that the episode where Madison appeared has debuted. Holy moly! But before we get too excited, folks, there may be a tragic ending. I'm all for these two getting together and staying together. They are just too priceless. The chemistry works both for the show itself as well as between the actors themselves, so that is a winning combination. But keep in mind, honestly, it seems like Madison made a deal with the devil, Mephisto himself, who just probably gave himself a goofy name like Jake when he interacted with her to draw the intoxicated Madison further in. He took six drops of her blood? Blood magic and fantasy is typically always evil business. Mephisto might end up sacrificing poor Madison in order to gain entry into Earth 616 proper after all. We know that he's an enemy of the Marvel comic book saga's Midnight Suns that include Doctor Strange, Blade, who's got an upcoming MCU movie, Moon Knight, who's had a miniseries on Disney+, Plus, and now Elsa Bloodstone is also being introduced in the Werewolf by Night Disney Plus series, where, of course, we get both Werewolf by Night and Man-Thing. Whether we see Johnny Blaze and not Donnie Blaze emerge in the MCU as Ghost Rider to join the Midnight Suns or not, the fact remains you really have a hard time having the Midnight Suns without Mephisto. And I just can't see how Mephisto is not Jake, who's made a deal involving Madison that likely includes the soul of Madison itself. Can Madison escape certain doom? Can her, I guess, new boyfriend Wongers help save her life? Since he's only the Sorcerer Supreme and all. Will Wong team up with Doctor Strange and the Midnight Suns to save her and everyone on Earth 616 from Mephisto? Well... Get that petition signed by commenting below, and let's see what we can do, people. After all, if we can get fan-casted items like the Ant-Man versus Thanos' nether cheeks theory into the MCU, and we can get John Krasinski to play Reed Richards in the MCU, well, get this petition signed, and let's see what else we can do. Anyway... You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok and subscribe to The Mama Saga for more comic book saga breakdowns. Thanks for watching. See you next time.